are now in um, the National Park of Burbak in Jambi, Sumatra. And we are now at the location of uh, the sea forest site where we are carrying out our research for greenhouse gas emission monitoring. And I'm working over there, working on um, carbon stocks in above and below ground biomass and on um, root dynamics. So this is a peat auger. This is actually for sampling um, soil in, in peat swamp forest. It has this, this blade, it's movable. So what you do is you just, just put it straight into the soil uh, and that, then you turn it around, so you twist it, and then this, this closes and you take it out and uh, you can just like take the soil sample. And this is pretty handy. Um, for me as well, for installing my tubes, because I need, need a like really nice hole. And uh, because the tubes um, have to be in the soil in the angle of 45 degrees, um, because you want to have the whole picture, and um, when you just just put it in uh, vertically, you might miss some roots. Uh, yeah. Now he's twisting it to make to make the hole to get the soil out. And you are, you already see it's like really moist and wet. And now now when you open it, so so this is this is the peat soil. It's um, highly organic. Um, like really little minerals in it. Um, most of the minerals come uh, from decomposed uh, um, leaves or decomposed um, roots, as you see, yeah, you can barely see them, they're really, really small. These are fine roots, roots uh, with a um, diameter less than two millimeters. And this is, this is um, where most of the carbon is stored in, in these peat swamp ecosystems. Small little hole where the pipe goes in. And you already can see here that you have like these, these root mat here, a lot of small little fine roots. This is, this is basically the pipe um, and it um, has a cap, it's, it's sealed at the bottom, <coughs> it has a yellow line to <coughs> be able to see um, where you want to, want to have your sample. Putting it inside, I, perhaps you want to, you see when I, when I push it in, all the water is already coming out. Go smoothly inside. Um, this part is black <coughs> because you don't want to want uh, sunlight coming into the tube, <coughs> which which could have an effect on, on root growth. And you want to have it like really tight to the soil that uh, there's no space in between. Um, let's check. Yeah, this tube is is perfect. No water is coming in. Um, we have these. Um, these small little pipes to um, to make sure that to, to anchor it to make sure that the, the pipe is really stable into the soil and doesn't move because they will they will stay um, for at least uh, two years here on this side and I will go after this six months waiting period where I come come back um, every second month um, I will come back every month to take uh, pictures um, and this continues for two years basically and to make sure that um, this stays we just take a little bit of wire and, and attach it so that this holds really tight on it so this is the this is the cap it uh, says um, Roman one for the, the transect for the plot and um, a one for for the pipe. This basically comes comes just just on the tube to prevent that um, it gets flooded. And that's it. That's the the tube installation.
So this is the laptop <coughs> to see what you are doing. Um, doing a big battery for for the power supply of the camera. This is the camera. Um, here you, you need to have you need to have light bulbs of course to be able to see something inside this hole because everything is pitch black um, here I can I can adjust the intensity of the light and I also can can focus see the red uh, so the yellow mark I will enter into the tube now For the, for the mark, go deeper to the first tick. And here what you see, um, this is all the soil. And here you see, see roots. These are all roots. And you can really follow this. So you can really, really see where the, where the root is growing. And here's the big root, like which is, which is approximately like this, this size, and then you have uh, the primary roots, uh, the, the the small roots coming out here. These are like the reference images, so the first images. So I will come back um, in uh, in two months, take the next set of images, then two months afterwards, two months afterwards. So first um, we measure the height and then um, we measure two diameters, um, one at the, at the base kind of, where in, the, in this example uh, you would measure it here, like this is already one meter thirty, and then a little bit more above, 1.3 meters above, to see, um, see how, it, how it continues, we have like a form factor so to say, to, to calculate the vo volume. Jadi mau Tiga. berapa? Oh dua setengah senti ke atas, dua 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 senti koma lima sampai tujuh senti koma lima itu masuk yang kecil, yang tujuh setengah senti ke atas itu masuk yang besar. Um, so what we did in the last couple of days is uh, we collect some additional uh, litter samples and understory samples. Um, these needs to be dry, dried and weighed and grinded and analyzed for carbon as well. Uh, then in these uh, bags we have um, woody debris samples. This is uh, the small, small class, so medium woody debris, which is from um, 2.5 to 7.5 centimeters. These are in total 20 pieces um, that will come in the oven, um, where like old samples are already inside. Um, they stay there for a couple of days until they're really, really dry, constant weight. And then I, um, I just measure the, the diameter um, and the length, so determine the volume, then I can calculate the specific gravity.